This morning when I got up, I said, let the morning be word of your unfailing love, Lord. I'll put my trust in you. Show me the way I should go, for to you I lift up my soul. And I said, set go of my mouth over, Lord, and keep watch of the door on my lips, for your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. You know, there was one stage in my life where I was walking down the, the broad road. In the Bible, it talks about the broad and narrow road, the broad road that leads to destruction and many pass through it, and the narrow road that leads to life and only a few will find it. Friends, my life was tragic. I was dying. I had something worse than gangrene or cancer. I had something worse it was called sin. The Bible says he who was pregnant with evil conceives trouble and gives birth to disillusionment. I was disillusioned, all right. I was wicked and rotten to the core. And I don't understand why Jesus came into my life. I don't understand why he called me to be a disciple of his, but he did. He called me out of the darkness. He showed me the light. He gave me a new life. They call it being born again. They say that when you become a child of God, you become a new creation. The old is gone and new has come. The Bible tells us, for God so loved the world, he gave his one and only son. When I become a child of God, I couldn't read. The Lord taught me to read. I couldn't spell. I couldn't do anything at all except curse and cuss everyone. I hated everyone around me before I become a child of God. But Jesus came into my life and God demonstrated his love in me. Amen. In me, he demonstrated his love. He said, Christ Jesus died for us while we're still sinners. Amen. The wage of sin is death, but God's gift is eternal life. Hallelujah. Friends, we need to look deeply inside ourselves. Hallelujah. We look at Thomas. Thomas was standing there and the disciples said, we've got good news. Christ has risen. He is resurrected. And Thomas said, Unless I see the holes in his hands, yes, yes. unless I see the hole in his hip, I will not believe. And yet Jesus walked through the wall and he said, blessed are those who believe and yet not yet seen. Many a time I have not believed. Many a time I've, I've lacked in faith, even to cross a road. But when Jesus came into my life, he, he, he gave me a new life, a life in abundance, a life in the full. Friends, Someone once asked me, why do you believe? And I said, he lives, he lives. Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me, he talks with me along life's narrow way. He lives, he lives salvation to impart. You ask me how I know he lives because he lives within my heart. And he can live in your heart too. He can live within your heart. You do not have to worry about earning your salvation. You can't earn your salvation. You can't work for it. You can't put money in the plate. Going to church won't give you an eternal life, but trusting in Jesus will give you that internal life. For it is by grace we have been saved through faith. This is not of ourselves. It is a gift from God, not by works, can no one can boast. I want you to do something for me tonight. It's something that I, my pride, my lack of pride, my humble, my humbleness, the Lord humbled my heart. At one stage I wanted to embrace my mother and I couldn't. And then one day God gave me the the courage to do so. And I want to encourage you tonight to go home and embrace your mother or your father or your brother or your sister. Your mother and father might be passed away like mine now. But embrace them, tell them that you love them because God loved you first. A new commandment I give you, he said, love one another as I loved you. So you must love one another and all men must love one another. Friends, if you've got a little sister, embrace her and tell her Jesus loves her, you love her. Tell them why you still can. And as I was going down this narrow road, I heard a still small voice in the back of my head, Isaiah 30, 21. Do not look to the left nor to the right, but listen to the voice in the back of your head and I will direct your thoughts. Jesus said to me, Christ, stand at the crossroads, look and ask for the ancient ways and walk in it. And God came into my life and he created a new person in me from the inside out. There is nothing you can do to receive an internal life. I've got to go in a minute, but I just want to encourage you 
encourage you here today to pray to God tonight for the future is the seed we sow, the child of grain of yields, the words we say, the seeds we choose grows the colours of our fields. Will he be ripe in golden grain that flashes in the sun or will attain the, the tainted fruit of promises of words undone? Talk to your family tonight. Tell them you love Jesus. Tell them he is the way and the truth and the life. Amen.